Hey, welcome to my channel. I appreciate you guys being here. And in the last vlog, I mentioned that I was going out to a cattle ranch. So I am here and extremely happy to be here, having a great time. And if you've been watching this channel, you know that we're not making time machines here. So just to underscore that point, I'm gonna be making a rump stump today. And who doesn't like stumps? I don't like the stumps. <laughs> anyway, I don't think Rump Stump is the official name. I think they go by wooden uh, accent tables or natural wood accent tables or end tables. And, but I just like Rump Stump. I think that's a great name. And the fact of the matter is you can sit on these tables. So in that regard, it kind of is a Rump Stump. So I did get some feedback from 10% of my subscriber base said they wanted a little more explanation. So that 10% was represented by one person. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to do a better job of explaining things. And yeah, there's two keys with a, a rump stump. One is to remove the bark and the other is to level it out. And to remove the bark, you can use tile chisels or hammers and or hammers and pry bars and you can also use a rotary hammer and i picked one up and i'll explain in a little bit why but uh, and they come in different shapes and forms and sizes but this is what the one i picked up looks like and, and it's not rotary at all so that makes the rotary hammer name kind of misleading it's more of a jackhammer motion and out here at the ranch there's a lot of bedrock so to do something like set posts it's just almost impossible so I thought maybe I could have other uses for it and down the road. So um, I picked that up to see if I could use it for other things out here amongst the bedrock. And then the second thing was a drill bit that was a wire wheel and where I couldn't get the bark off using the rotary hammer, this thing worked like a champ. It was awesome. So that's really the, the was the key for me to getting the bark off and then the second key is leveling out the stump and the trick there is basically set it on level ground and then measure from the ground to the lowest point on the table and then take that measurement around and make about four or five marks and then along those marks you're going to wrap a chalk line and then snap it and then you'll have a perfectly level line in which to lop off the top of the stump or the top of the muffin as it were top of the muffin to you yeah that's it and i think it's a lot of fun and i hope you stick around and enjoy it and let's roll Okay, here's what the original stump looked like. And a little backstory here. We had a big storm come through our city about a year ago. So actually this thing's been drying out for about a year, which I guess is, is a good thing. But the storm came through and crews were out cleaning the roads and I had been thinking about this project for a while. So I stopped and helped the crews by liberating the stump. And yeah, I'm just applying the rotary hammer at a shallow angle against the bark and it worked great. It went very, very quickly and it was super intuitive. So not a problem at all. And the rest of it, I'm gonna speed up a little bit here because it's a lot of the same things over and over, but it did go really fast. And then I basically got the wire wheel out and used that to remove any bark that I couldn't otherwise get with the rotary hammer and as you know a, a tree stump's got little creases and things of that nature so stuff like that was was easier to get to using the wire wheel and frankly saved me a lot of time i think in sanding down the road so yeah this thing worked like a champ and i knew the stump wasn't level but i'm going to show here just demonstrating checking it for level and and then taking a measurement from the ground on a level surface up to the lowest point of the tabletop and that's going to be represented here on the left and then I transferred that measurement around to about 
four or five different places on the stump and then made a mark. I did put nails in those marks so that I could put the chalk line securely up against the nails and then got the chalk line and snapped it and then I had a perfectly level line. So I took a chainsaw after that and then used the chainsaw to just lop off the top and I was good to go. And I did see a little critter pop up while I was getting ready to sand and raise your hand or shout out the answer if you know what it is. There are quite a few of them out here, so it wasn't that unusual to see, but just wanted to show that on film. And as far as the sanding goes, I did speed that up as well. And I started with a 40 grit, which was the coarsest grit that I had, and then moved to finer grits. I went from 40 to 150 to 220 to 600 to 800 and it is really really smooth to the touch and feels great and I did not however sand the bottom so don't tell my neighbors and then yeah then I was done and then I could just go out and enjoy my new rump stump and my new current views these days so thanks for hanging around